we have discovered accident investigators warned the Federal Aviation Administration more than once in recent years about the potential for high fatality hot air balloon crashes. And now KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller explores whether heeding that warning could have saved lives. The National Transportation Safety Board first sent this letter to the FAA in April 2014. It pushed the FAA to keep a closer watch on balloon operators. It took more than a year and a half for the FAA to respond to the letter, and the administration decided it would not make changes. Then this March, the NTSB pushed again. The board wrote that there were 25 balloon accidents, killing four people and seriously injuring 25. And that's all in the time the FAA refused to act on this letter. Now the deadliest balloon crash in American history has the NTSB investigating the kind of tragedy it warned about for years. I spoke with the balloon pilot who says, even with this history, don't expect changes to come quickly. Anytime there's a loss of life, it's tragic and, and it hits at the heart of what I really, really enjoy doing. Balloon pilot Bruce Lavornia loves soaring through the central Texas skies which also means he's constantly watching the weather. Do you think you would have flown this weekend? No, there was no way I would have flown this weekend. The possible clouds were his main concern. Still, Lavornia says the doomed balloon took off about 35 miles away from where he was looking at the weather. After a number of ballooning accidents, the NTSB recommended the FAA have more oversight of ballooning operators giving tours. The NTSB states passengers on balloon tours should get the same benefit of a similar level of safety oversight as passengers on plane and helicopter tours. But the FAA said the change would not result in a significant higher level of safety. What do you think about that? I mean, what are they going to look at? I mean, I don't understand. I don't know that we need more regulations. I don't know that that's going to do any good or would have done any good. It's hard to say, you know. There are two federal agencies arguing with each other. Lavornia says he doesn't give paid tours. The proposed changes wouldn't affect the way he operates. If the feds do decide to make a switch, Lavornia says he expects it will be a while before we see the new rules kick in. The FAA also noted it gets involved with some of the major ballooning events in the country. The administrator also called the amount of ballooning in the country so low that the risk is also low and that ballooners understand the risk of flying. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. At a news conference today, an NTSB official said that the board does not believe the FAA's response to its recommendations is acceptable. We also contacted the FAA this afternoon but did not hear back. So far, just 10 of the 16 victims identified.